Hey YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Um, today we're going to do the second uh, part of the video for this micro wind turbine. So I've got some parts here together that uh, will com hopefully complete this build, uh, minus the wiring anyway. So I spent like an hour at Home Depot trying to figure this out. And what I came up with here <coughs> is I've got one and a half inch PVC pipe just normal schedule 40 I think yeah schedule 40 pipe um, and what this is going to do is the motor is going to sit inside here now obviously it's not a perfect fit so I'm going to have to wrap the motor in like some tape or something to make it snug in there and then maybe drill some some holes and put some set screws in there to kind of hold it in place but basically that will be you know the motor will stick out the end like so, um, protect it from from rain and so forth, and probably will will silicone seal or whatever we need to do to keep this protected. And um, so that'll go into this piece, which will then send the this way, I guess. The wires will go down to the bottom, and then another piece of one and a half will come out the back, where this piece of um, is a super cheap piece of flashing material will kind of be the furl on the back. So then um, the wires will go down. The uh, I've got another like seven foot piece of this that will serve as kind of the pole that goes down to the ground and holds it up. And then this is a little, just a little adapter um, just to make it fit here. So the end of the pole goes into this piece, then it fits snug inside this. This is like a little shower drain or something like that. So the shower drain piece will attach to a piece of wood that will then attach on top of this. This is kind of, a, this is a ball bearing, um, basically a, uh, a piece for it to sit on and it can move as it yaws back and forth. Um, so that it can it can rotate with the wind and face toward the wind and then there will be some sort of a platform on the bottom that I haven't really figured out how to do it to kind of keep it stable maybe put some sandbags or something on it to to hold it down so anyway let's get started putting some of this together okay so I've cut out some of these pieces this is a six inch piece where the motor is actually going to attach to and then we have this piece where the wire is going to run and then come down and then on the back I cut an 8 inch piece of the PVC and then with a hacksaw I'll just cut a notch at the back so this this piece basically I just folded this flashing in half and I'm going to put a hole through the middle of it with a a bolt in between so that it can't it can't move anywhere maybe a couple bolts but um so I'll pull this out for a second but uh, that will form the top and then I have this seven foot piece of PVC that I cut that is going to be the the tower and that is it's seven feet so that it'll get it up above the fence line my backyard fence so that it can get a little bit of clean air obviously you're going to want you know if you really want to get up into the clean great air you're going to want to go 40 50 feet up but i don't have that luxury in my neighborhood so this is the next best best thing it'll get me above the, the fence line and uh, enough to test this thing out Okay, and here is the base that I that I made. Basically, I put a a piece of just some old OSB that I had laying around. It's about seven inches square, and then I just have a piece of treated lumber on the bottom. Had to make it kind of skinny so that I could get in and be able to to screw this thing in from the bottom. Otherwise, I would have made it a lot wider. But um, Anyway, it's attached to this ball bearing so it can spin around. It, I'll have to play with it to make sure it's to get it really smooth, but 
um, that's the basics and then I drill drill the hole through the middle so that the you know this will mount to this like that and uh, and then I can route the wiring down through the hole for the to connect to the charge controller okay so here we have the base with the shower drain piece on it and again there's a hole for the wiring to go through and this little adapter fits right in there. I can push it down farther when I'm ready to actually install this. But uh, for now, we'll leave it like that. And then the seven foot section goes down in like so. And obviously this is gonna need some serious weight um, to hold it because uh, it's, it's fairly heavy. Uh, at least, I mean, it's top heavy. It's not really heavy, but uh, we want to get it. We want to keep it level for this bearing to work, and we want to keep it from blowing over. So that's that's it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you the final assembly. We'll wire this thing up, and we'll test it out in the real world. Thanks for watching.